In this video, I'm going to be showing you the cards that I made with this 6x6 six six paper pad by Echo Park for the December 2020 Smash That Small Paper Pad. Hello, crafty friends. Welcome to another month of Smash That Small Paper Pad hosted by Deb Houck's Crafty Cottage. It's December already. So for this year's finale, um, I used the coffee 6x6 six six paper pad by Echo Park. And I still have a little bit left and some scraps. The small paper pads that we use have to be smaller than 12 by 12. Uh, usually 6x6 six six or 6x8. I think most of us use 6x6s. Six and I also use early espresso ink, flirty flamingo, and then the new one I just got, pretty peacock. As you'll see in some of these papers, that color is there. So I was happy to see that. And I used this stamp. I think that's really cute. And I have You Are Loved. This is from a Valentine set. And then I have Fisker's Coffee Set. And I used We're the Perfect Blend. And I also used this die on one of the cards. I cut, cut this out of whatever color, blue, uh, flurry flamingo, red. But then I also cut the inside of brown and so I could piece that in there. So you'll see that as we get to it. I just did that on one. As I make more, I will probably do some more of these. Okay, here's my first one. Um, I alternated on the matting. See how it's very, very tiny border here, just to peek through a little bit. And then there's other times like this when I did it a little bit bigger. And I used a water brush and I just dipped it in the ink and I highlighted that. And the same thing with the coffee cup. And then the inside, you are loved. This paper is from Michaels. It's 100 pound. And this particular paper came in sets. If you can see the difference in the color, there's like three different colors, all the way to light, light to dark pink. So there's that one. And here's one of the cut aparts, Coffee Before Talkie, which I thought was cute. And this is the paper and then in the background I used a flower paper and the blue matting you are loved and then here's a really cute gingham print coffee with the flowers so I felt like because this had flowers on it I could understate the background a little bit and then just a piece of blue you are loved And then another one, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. And I did the same thing with the ink. And there's our little coffee beans. We're the perfect blend. Another cut apart. Today's plan, drink coffee and be awesome. And then this is where I did this on the inside. And so I left room so I could write. And this is, a, I started using some scraps. I will drink coffee here and there. I will drink coffee everywhere. We're the perfect blend. So hopefully one day I will get to meet with my friends in person again to have that cup of coffee. And here's a beautiful floral print. And then this is just a really cute polka dot. 
for the perfect blend. I also use Rococo Rose. I don't see that handy at the moment, but yes, I use Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, Flirty Flamingo, and Early Espresso for my inks. OCD, Obsessive Coffee Drinker. I think my daughter would love that. Here's a really cute print full of yummy goodies that we have with our coffee. Another pretty floral. And again, this is this is a pretty peacock. And then this is just a, a light blue. I think it's Marina Mist. Your love. Again, another print. This this solid green is also in the paper pad with the perfect blend. And here's, I cut the, uh, cut it out of this kind of a dark pink light maroon color. But then I went ahead and cut this out of brown. And then I, I tried this, I don't know how good it looks, but I also cut out the, the steam. I don't know that it matters, but I did cut that out and put that on top. Then I popped the whole thing up um, because I had the extra uh, height here. I went ahead and put some cardstock on the back and then I put a higher piece of foam tape and then I put my little small mini dimensionals over here. And then this is just popped up with foam tape. Yes, I did use foam tape on these. I think there's only one, this one right here that I did not um, pop up, that I went ahead and put straight down. And then I was using more of my scraps. It's a wonderful life after coffee. You are loved. Okay, and then here's where I just used some scraps. And the blue, and then the flirty flamingo. And last but not least, I just used a scrap here and I matted this on brown. You are loved. If you've been looking for a sketch for specifics on the 6x6, I did want to plug Alicia and call me Crafty Al. She does have a couple of sketches, the Hershey letter of cards, that are perfect to use with your 6x6 paper. This one is August 2020. I know she has another one, but I will go ahead and link this one. If you are a subscriber, uh, you can get these for yourself. So be sure to check that out. This will be my last uh, Smash Nut Small Paper Bread collab. And I wanted to say thank you so much to Deb for hosting this. Please be sure to watch my other videos coming up. And I appreciate your support. Bye-bye.